You want to learn how to make a cigar at home, but don't have any of the tools? Follow me for the ride. So typically you would need a mold, but today we're going to do 100% hand rolled, no molds. So first you're going to need to find your cigar tobacco. You're kind of on your own on this one, but a simple Google search might help you out on where to get some small quantities from. Go with your basic three fillers, Seco, Lijero, and Viso. You're going to need some binder leaf and then wrapper leaf. Now that you got your leaf situated, what we're going to go over is the method of rolling. And this method is gonna be called accordion. So I first like to take my viso leaf. This is going to be the largest of the bunch. And this one helps with the burn in the construction of the cigar. And the accordion stack is pretty much how it's described. What you're going to do is you're gonna take the leaf and fold it up like an accordion, scrunching like so. And you're gonna do that with each leaf. Fold it up like an accordion. Make sure you feel that it feels pretty consistent and even all the way through. I then rip off the thin parts on the bottom and the top and stack it in the spots of the cigar. Like so. Now you have more of a cigar size. Then you wanna prepare your binder. You wanna get the vein out of the center of the, now this took me a while to learn by taking a little bit off the top of it and rolling it around my hand like that. I ripped a whole bunch of leaves, but you're gonna want to maybe just cut it out. We're gonna get our filler rolled up into the binder. You're gonna place the filler almost at like a 45 degree angle from the curved part of the leaf and then start rolling. Cut the cigar down to the size you want. You can use a regular cigar cutter for this. Because we are not using any molds to make this cigar, this is 100% hand rolled, we're going to need to mold it in something to give it a nice smooth cigar shape. So for that, we are going to use a simple piece of paper. So we're gonna be putting the cigar right at the edge of the paper there in the corner at a 45 degree angle and we're going to roll it really tight inside this paper. So squeezing down and rolling like this. Take your time with it. Make sure you get it nice and tight. And from there, we're going to twist the end of each side of this. Here. And here. What I'm going to do to keep this closed is I'm going to put a little bit of cigar glue on the paper there to keep it shut. Like that. And now I'm gonna let that sit there for about 20 minutes. Now while that's sitting in the mold, what you're gonna wanna do is get your wrapper leaf ready to roll with. If your wrapper leaf is a little dry, you're gonna wanna bring it back to life, like mine is right now, with a little bit of distilled water. What I like to do is get a little bit of that water on my table, rub it around, 
and plop the leaf right on top of it and just kind of work it into the water just lightly and you want to make sure it's distilled water wrapper leaves are extremely delicate so you want to make sure you are very delicate with the wrapper so it doesn't rip and just like the binder we want to get the vein out of the middle of it now that we got the vein out of the middle what we're going to want to do is stretch it out the best that we can on this wet surface now we need to trim it up the easiest way to do this at home is with a pizza cutter you want it to look something like that now we're going to roll this just like we did with the binder you just made your first cigar